Here go, greetings and welcome, fellow space captains, to another episode of Let's Play Nexus, the Jupiter Incident. Alright, let's continue on while we evade this mine. Alright, I've managed to deactivate it. Crisis averted. You can continue to the base. Be cool, people. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Be cool. How would you be cool if you noticed there's a minefield active in front of you? I mean, we are only flying a uh, Corvette, did you call it? That's kind of on the lighter side of class vessels, so, you know, a mine probably would do some serious damage. You will eventually get to fly some bigger ships. Well, a bigger ship. and command even bigger ones. But at the moment, the Corvette class really is the biggest ship that uh, the Earth can build. At least I think. I don't, th I don't think there's any bigger ships in the, in the sector, really. Stiletto calling Sunflower. Thanks for warning us. What's the latest news? Due to the events on Mars, the Corporation introduced a global embargo against aerospace. But the sector remains calm, sir. A long-sought Class Heavy Corvette arrived at OSEC. The Rockets won the Spring Championship on Earth. That's all. I see. Can you link me up with Colonel Finn? I'm requesting an encoded channel. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Colonel Finn, greetings Cromwell. I'm glad you made it here in one piece. We've been expecting you. And that's the first mission. Yay! Uh, we have no real accomplishments. We didn't kill anyone. We'll get to do that in the future. Let's continue. Right, so, most missions will begin with a briefing like this. Welcome, Captain Cromwell. The Sunflower's light corvettes have installed the espionage satellites you delivered a few days ago. The results are rather promising. The radius of the sensors has increased significantly. One of them has already provided us with some very useful information. We have managed to locate and identify the Ronin cargo ship of the Kisaki Syndicate. It is flying directly towards the Shukenja base. It won't stop at the Michelangelo. Captain, your task is to meet with the ship at the given coordinates, then to investigate her cargo. Reports show that the Ronin is not armed with military-grade weaponry, and no escort ships have been detected. Right, well, we can get an overview, replay the briefings, see if our fleet can be changed, we can see the characters in charge really the captain the lieutenant which doesn't have much information we can fiddle with the configuration a bit if we had the points or the resources we don't at the moment it is not important because well our corvette really can't help, uh, hold any myth anything more and also we don't have anything else to really do being uh, currently we have no real things we can change 
All right, so I'll just go back. And we could go to Galaxy View, but right now that all there is is the uh, solar system. So yeah, not really a point to doing that. So let's just start the mission. Approaching the position indicated by the probe. The Ronin should appear on her sensors at any moment. To choose the proper tactic, she should have be aware of the strengths and abilities of the enemy. This is where recon helps. Besides the detection of the detection of the enemy, it's also important to know whether the enemy can detect us or not. The first step is detecting the enemy. The detected object is unknown at first. You don't know what it is, only that it's something is there. Several factors influence the effectiveness of detection. Above all, it depends on the distance of the target and its working devices, but luck has an influence on detection effectiveness as well. The closer your ship is to the target, the easier it is to detect. Because every device emits energy, it makes it easier to detect a ship if there are working devices, weapons, sensors, engines on it. Passive sensors are basic equipment for ships. Most ships are equipped with long-range active sensors. You can switch them on or off here. Note that using this device makes your ship easier to detect because of the increased energy output, which would be a problem if we were facing anything uh, with weapons, as we do not. I don't see any point in not using that. Next step is identification. More information becomes available and you can attach the camera to the identified object. All right, so let's just... F10 Affirmative. and F1. So, the game that I'm playing by, by right now, by the way, is a slightly updated version, so I think, from the base game that we that I had bought way back in the, in the past. Sir, we detected an object. It may be the Ronin, but we have not identified it yet. Aye, aye, sir. And, um... I've not really noticed any real bugs. I mean, it's a slight visual upgrade. It has now widescreen screen support, I believe, which I didn't. Sir, I don't think it had we before. Have a second object. The Ronin is not alone. All right, got another thing with it. The only real bug I've encountered is that this game does not understand how to use 5.1 speakers, because it kept trying has... to uh, use the. Um, the briefing dialogue through my subwoofer and that's really annoying when it does that but well since i'm recording this currently through my headset which is just stereo it seems to be working just fine but in case something is wrong it's probably because of that i don't think there is but you know been verified as the ronin all right put it on screen The unknown ship has broadcast its ID. It appears to be the Kisaki freighter Behemosu, the Ronin sister ship. We're detecting a strange energy pattern. If it's a container tug, it's carrying something very unusual. It can't be. Sir, this is no cargo freighter. Something's happening. Its energy levels are rising exponentially. Our sensors are scrambled. Don't lose your head. Analyze it. It's a space drive, sir. It seems to be based on principles. I don't even... Captain, this is impossible. We cannot... I, I, I mean... Technology like this simply cannot exist. Well, it looks like someone forgot to tell the Kisaki that. Continue to pursue the Ronin. We have to know more about this. 
Cargo carrier Ronin, this is the Stiletto military patrol. Stop immediately. Stiletto, this is the Ronin. Keep your distance. This is private business. The Sector Earth Treaty formally prescribes the transportation of contraband. According to paragraph 28, clause C, we have the right to inspect your cargo bay. Stop immediately. It is an offense to obstruct an inspection. You have no right to inspect us. Any attempt to do so will be considered an act of piracy. Are you prepared to risk an armed conflict between our two corporations, Stiletto? Halt immediately or we will open fire. Sir, the Ronin is not slowing down. Should we give them a wake-up call? All right, to attack a ship's hold, click the destroy hull command F7 and right click the enemy ship. The ship automatically selects its most suitable weapons, approaches its target and opens fire. To stop firing, set the behavior to be focused and take away the current command by clicking auto F1. All right, so Yes, sir. Let's punch some holes in that hull. In the thrilling space combat. Well, this feels probably much more devastating on the Ronin. Cease fire! We surrender! I'm glad you've changed your minds. Prepare to receive the inspection team. We will not permit you to board. We'll blow your commando ferry out of the sky! We'll see, Ronin. Alright, so we're starting to get more information. What we are interested in is the flak uh, defenses, which are specifically designed to take out enemy fighters and, f and uh, command ships. Analysis provides the most detailed recon information available. This happens automatically. Analysis reveals the devices of uh, the enemy. The Ronin is equipped with a flak cap. You can see the detected devices here. Clicking the tabs, you can switch between the device groups. So basically, it has a laser gun, which is basically um, for destroying other devices on uh, an enemy ship. The flak, which I already said, is an anti-aircraft defense system. It has a weapon generator, a support generator, sensors, and a chemical and a secondary chemical engine. So basically. You can just take out its weaponry, you can take out the ways of it. it generates power for its weapons, which is useful if you want to, you know, quickly remove all weapons. Uh, the support generates basically um, allows, you, allows them to siphon power into other systems, I think. Basically, it's shut down anything else and a chemical weapon, so basically you can just paralyze an engine. In this case... We cannot deploy commandos while it is active. Disable the flak cannon. Well... Draw real, please. You can attack the detected devices of the target... Attack the right there. You can attack the detected devices of the target with the attack device command. Click the command and right click the target ship. You can set the priority of the device attacks of the enemy device panel by clicking their name. You can select more than one at a time. Yeah, well, we're only interested in the flag. So. Affirmative. Now we shoot with our lasers. Pew, pew. And currently we're not hitting it. The lasers don't really do much damage to the hull, though they do a little bit. Alright, there we go. It's actually hitting the flak cannon now. Target device disabled. Yeah, disabled means it just doesn't work. Doesn't mean it's destroyed and cannot work. That's an important difference because usually you want to, you, you may not always want to destroy something. But if you just leave it disabled, they will eventually repair it enough that it will start working again. 
In this case, we want to destroy it utterly. Sir, the flak cannon has been destroyed. The Ronin is deploying fighters. Right, so only your fighters are effective against the attacking fighters. The bigger weapons of the ship cannot lock them. Select the fighters. After selection, click the attack button and right click the target. You can only select the targets of the fighters from the list on the right. So basically just the other fighters. You can call back the fighter squadron with the home button. The docked fighters will be repaired. Which is indeed important because once lost you can't rebuild in combat. You can only repair in combat. So we want to... what's the attack button? Primary attack, I think. How many weapons has this damn freighter got, sir? Ooh. Right, so... Yes, sir. They're targeting our flak cannon. They are going to destroy it. So now our flag cannon is under attack. As you can see here, we don't have a means of attacking. I think. Warning, our squadrons are under attack. Alright, so basically we're now just attacking the enemy fighters. Let's actually follow our ships. Um, well, it looks like we're doing decent damage against their fighters. Because their fighters are just focused on killing my flag cannon. Right, this is making me a little Warning. bit woozy. Weapon disabled. Right, it's disabled, but not yet destroyed. Come on, take it out. Right, one ship is gone. Enemy squadron destroyed. Nice. RTB. Affirmative, Captain. We can now safely deploy our commandos. Now let's deploy a commando to the Ronin. Yes, sir. Commandos dispatched. Testo Moving towards cargo area. Resistance is low. We've entered the cargo area. Modular building materials, two portable labs. Looking for the containers. Sir, I think we've hit the jackpot. What do you see, soldier? Aside from a cache of illegal weapons, no surprises there, they carry large amounts of highly unusual equipment. Far more than a research station would ever need. We've found containers made from an alloy I've never seen before. They seem to disperse energy rays. Our scans can't penetrate them. As far as I'm aware, no material can do that. Right, commanders can carry out special tasks about the enemy ships. To use the commando ferry, simply select it and right-click the target as usual. Bring back everything you can. As you can see, our flak We've is already getting collected prepared sample, again. Sir. Commando out. Our commandos are returning. And we didn't lose any commandos, which is nice. Mission complete, sir. Shall we depart? Permission granted. Let's head for the Sunflower. Copy that, sir. Mission over. So we did very well. Again, no medals, but then again, we didn't really do anything. We lo they lost three fighters. That's okay. Right, let's continue.
and I'll see you all next time.